hello everyone today in this video i will show to you how to check that the joints of redox arm are already identified by ras and then how to test the joints that it's working probably uh, by two methods the first one i will use gui from the robotics bison package the second one i will give direct commands to every joint so before we start i want you to have a look on the redox arm hardware so here is the the arm it have six joints five are revolute and one is prismatic let's show them to you the first one is this one the second one is this one that goes up and down this is the third one this is the fourth one this is the fifth one and the last one is this one for the creeper. This one is prismatic and all the remaining are, are revolute. So let's start. We said that first we need to make sure that the, all the joints are identified by ROS. To do this step, we need to uh, clone a package called a robotics Python in our workspace. First, we will go to the workspace, which was called Tweedux. Then we will go to the source file. Then we will clone this package. This package enables the ROS interface between the Wedux ARP and the ROS by using the OSP. So here. Then after we install it, we will go back to the workspace and we will make cat clinic. Okay, so we will go and give permission to uh, access the port of uh, Widux Arm, the port to which Redux arm is connected to our PC. In last video, we said that we checked this port number and it was TTY USB 0. So here, I will give permission to access this port number by using this command. So do so change mode of this port number. Then I will enter the password. Then I will launch a robotics terminal to check that wiser ROS is identifying all the joints or not. As we said, we have six joints. Let's see. So here I will say to it, list all the joints that you already identified. Okay, it should be one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just check it again. This is perfect. Ross right now is identifying all the joints that I have, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. Once I make sure that all the joints are identified by Ross, the next step is I want to test that every joint is working properly. As I said in the beginning, we'll do this by two methods. The first method is I will launch the GUI uh, from a robotics, I, it is called a robotics GUI. And also I need the controller to launch the controller at the same time. So that is here. And I will open another terminal. And here I will launch First, I will deactivate the conda environment. Here, you don't have to do this step. Okay. Then, I will launch the control. 
here we go so we have here the controller and we have here uh, the GUI so how can I do this first you would check which uh, joint you want to control and then it change its value by using this slider so the first thing let's uh, check the gripper so I will check it here then I will change it this value if you have a look here you will see that it is opening let's close it okay so let's try another one let's say joint one which is this one so one connected to the base okay. just crashed and let's check it so let's move it in the other direction so that's it this is the first method we used the GUI to check that every joint in the uh, Redux arm is working you can go ahead and check all of them and go to the slider and test the different values but here I will save time and go to the second method let's check the second method the second method I will set later it will be giving command this uh, directly to the joints the different joints of the redux arm so to do this uh, method we should have the controller running all the time then I wanted to give commands to any of these joints let's check first what is the ROS topics available here with this controller so I will say ROS topic list to list it to me all the available uh, topics that I can publish some comments on so as you see here I have this six uh, uh, topics that are important to me which is joint one command joint two command joint three command and four and fifth and one for the grabber so let's try one of them suppose I want to send message to a uh, joint four so I would say Ross topic publish then the the name of the topic which is joint four command then the type of the message which is standard message float 64 then the data here we go this is the zero value for it once I give some commands to any of the joint I don't have access on it uh, manually so here I give to joint 4 so I don't able to move it I can move all the other joints like joint 1, 2, 3 but 4 I can't and the 5th I can and all the others I can so how about if I want to relax this uh, joint again to be able to move it okay so to do this I will use uh, ROS services let's check what is the ROS services available with this controller by ROS surface list let's see so here you will have for every joint you will have relax and you will have enable so you have two surfaces for every joint one will relax the joint and one will activate it again so as we did from a while we already uh, give some command to joint 4 and now I want to relax it so I can like move it manually to do this I will call this surface so I will say cross surface call then the name which is joint for cross surface then call then joint for relax and 
Here it is. Now I can move it manually. You also had some options, like I said, you have here enable, and also you have the option to set the speed of any of the joints. You can go here, I give all the example an example to every joint. You can go ahead and try with your uh, joints of the Redux R. And this is the end of this video. In the next video, I will show to you how to uh, control the Redux arm by using uh, a package of frost that we will create together. So see you in next video.